Hey everyone, Cameron here. As it turns out, there is more than one way to create an intensity profile in Stages Flight. So in earlier videos, you have learned how you can add a timed interval simply by entering the time of the interval of your choosing. Pretty straightforward, more of a coach's approach. Now, for those of you that like more musically mapped rides or rhythm rides, you will probably be very keen to use this music timer feature that we have built into the intensity profile creator. I'm going to show you how that works today. So first thing we're going to do is give our test ride a name. I'm going to give myself a 10 second countdown timer. And you'll see how I use this um, later when you view the actual video in the stages flight application. But uh, there's a lot of different ways to use it. Uh, some instructors opt to use the countdown timer as a way to give themselves more time to say press the start button on stages flight and then cue up their music. And others still use it as a way to actually give a physical countdown timer on screen to show participants how much time they have to get in their seats before class actually begins. All of which are totally viable options. I'm choosing power zones as our intensity scale today because hashtag we know power at stages cycling. And uh, I'm going to show you how we do this. So in my hand, I'm holding my mobile device. I have my playlist queued up. And in this case, I'm just doing a single track so that you can see how this works. And I'm actually going to press the start button here first. Uh, sorry, scratch that. I'm going to press my music uh, player first, and then I'm going to hit the start button. And I'll sort of narrate what's going on as I do this so that you can see how it works live and in real life. So here we go. As you guessed it, I've started. So this is my first timed stage. And from here on out, I'm just gonna hit the stage button when I feel a musical change coming that I want to increase the intensity for or change the intensity. Four, three, two, one, change. So there's my first interval. I'm now working my way on my second. Feeling the end coming here. And I'm going to give myself a few extra seconds. And done. Perfect. So as you look at this, you can see three timed intervals. The timings went with my track. Now, if you are doing longer intervals or you're really quick on the draw, you can actually edit the intensities of these as you go. Uh, I'm not that fast, especially not for a song that is a minute and change long. So now I'm going to backfill my intensities. So in this interval one, I'm going to hit the edit button. And this is just like the add interval function that you played around with earlier. So the duration, 25 seconds, that's great. I'm actually going to make a nice ramp of intensity during that time. And I'm going to ramp this from 50% to 100% or magical FTP land. And as you see down below, it's mapping it out for me. Pretty cool. And then this th second interval, well, this is, as you probably guessed from the sound of the intensity, this is where I want people to really go for it. This is a real sprint. So this is going to be 30 seconds of 125% of FTP. Could we go longer at that intensity? Yeah, we could, but I'm nicer than most, so we'll, we'll leave it there, that should be good. And then our final six seconds really was just to wrap it up, and I'm gonna leave that at 50%. So you can see, that's it. You could do this for an entire playlist, you could do this track by track, the choice is yours, but basically I'm just gonna save this and you'll see right away it's been added to my profiles and routes. You can hit the send button to force this to your club 
And in the next video, I'm actually going to show you live experience as it plays on my club's big screen.